respiration in plants and animals. Objective To learn the process of respiration as it occurs in plants and animals. All living organisms take in the oxygen that is necessary for the oxidation of glucose through a process known as respiration. Unlike animals, plants have no specialized organs or tissues for respiration. Instead, the surfaces of leaves and stems are filled with minute pores known as stomata. Oxygen from the atmosphere is absorbed through the stomata before diffusing into the spongy mesophyll tissue. The cells of the mesophyll contain mitochondria, where oxygen will react with glucose in a biochemical process known as Krebs cycle. During this process, there will be a release of energy, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. While the energy will be utilized by the plant, the carbon dioxide and water vapor will diffuse out through the stomata. Now let's see the difference in the respiratory system of animals using the human respiratory system as an example. The human respiratory system consists of the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi and lungs. The nose is the most external organ and is the primary entry point for air moving into respiratory system. The pharynx is a common passageway for both air and food. Connecting the pharynx to the trachea is the larynx, more commonly known as the sound box. The trachea is a tubular structure that extends downward into the thoracic cavity. Splits into right and left bronchi. Each bronchi will lead to a lung where they will divide further into bronchioles and alveolar ducts, which terminate as alveoli. Alveoli are tiny grape-like sacs in which gas exchange takes place. The lungs are housed on either side of heart inside the thoracic cavity. They are divided into lobes, with the right lung having three lobes and the left lung having only two. Mechanism of breathing The diaphragm is a sheet of muscles lying across the bottom of the chest cavity. When the diaphragm contracts, the volume of the thoracic cavity will increase and air pressure inside the lungs will decrease. Oxygen-rich air will be pulled into the lungs through the nose in the process known as inspiration. When the diaphragm relaxes, the volume of the thoracic cavity will decrease and the air pressure inside the lungs will increase. Air with carbon dioxide will be pumped out of the lungs. This is what's known as expiration. Summary all living organisms respire in order to release energy from glucose. Oxygen enters a plant through the stomata and reacts with glucose in the mitochondria of the cells. Animals have specialized organs such as lungs for respiration.